Mr. Ed here and Good Time Charlie. He's back there. Look, what? Here he comes. Here he comes. And there he is. There he is. And today it's a chilly, chilly morning in the country. We are we are in Amy, Louisiana. Probably about 45 minutes. That's, I think that's a donkey, isn't it? Yeah, donkey back in the in the background. And he's all happy that Mr. Ed and Good Time Charlie are up here because. You got to see where we are. Look at this, man. <laughs> man, this is a fine, fine, fine establishment that these bees have decided to make it their home. Now, what's, what's funny about this removal or interesting about this removal is that Charlie and I had gone up to the Franklin Bee Club, uh, their meeting on Thursday night, and when we were up there, one of the guys up there said, man, we, know, we got these bees up in this trailer up here. You think you can come help us get it out? Because we want them. And I said, well, yeah, me and Charlie, we always up for a good bee wrangling. So I got Tommy and James. They're coming up here. They should be here shortly. They're not here right now. But they'll be up here, and they'll be giving us a hand. And by the end of this afternoon, I hope we'll get the bees out of the trailer. And I think these bees are going to wind up going with James. So by the grace of God, <laughs> the bees that are in this trailer right now will be coming home with James, and we're going to be setting them up at his place. So, Charlie, you ready to wrangle? I'm ready to go. All right, we're going to get inside here, show you where the bees are, and show you what they look like on the flare, and see if we can get our stuff set up and, while we wait for Tom and, and now James. Let's, let's uh, take a little walk inside this camper and show you what we're... <laughs> dealing with oh my gosh it's it's a little bit rough folks I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you and it's and the, the ground is a little bit the, the floor it's kind of rough and stuff but I think we're gonna be good enough to be able to do the bees and this is where our bees are located in this area right here they're coming into the camper through the opening where the electrical cord is coming in for the power and I'll show you on the flare where they are but so far I've looked at already and this is where they are so let me grab the flare and I'll show you what they look like on the flare and here is what the signature looks like I'm getting a signature way down on the floor and another one now that's well this is this is the window so that's not that's not the heat signature from the bees. That's a window. But the bees are located down on the floor right here. So this whole <laughs> cabinet is going to have to be removed for us to locate where the hive is and access to it. So Ralph's not here, so it's up to me. Let me go ahead and start pulling this thing apart. As I'm just... You know, just kind of making preps on, to pull all this stuff out. And, and my guess is that the bees, they're in this part of right here. As I'm pulling the board out, look at this right here. You can see old comb where they have attached or built comb. So who knows, there, there may be comb even going beyond that right now. And this bulge in this cabinet, it may actually be the comb pushing out this this wood so who knows I don't know how long the bees have been in here um, and right now the temperature is what 48 is that what it is right now it's chilly but it's not that cold and so the bees are very uh, dormant right now but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and remove start removing all this stuff and hopefully it won't get too many bees flying yeah. in the air oh that's good look at that look what that thing did one look I can see bees already I don't know. I might have to put on my, my suit, Charlie. Real I think quick. they might come out fighting. Can you see them back down in here? Uh -huh. I saw a couple of them. You see them down there? Down in here. Yep. We have bees. Yep. So, it's really, I just have to get this piece off of here. But you can you you know that the comb is going to be all attached to all of this. So I'm a, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pry this bottom off and see if we can get this part off. So I'd, I'd rather have the comb stay up here. 
Let's see what happens when we do that. Well, that is pretty impressive. Let me see if it goes. No, it, that's it. That's it. it. There's a partition there. So this is it. Here's our here's our hive right here. Um, now there is this is the electrical. All this is electrical right here, and so there there's something behind this. But if you look at the comb, look how much honey is in here. This is all stores of honey. All of this is honey. And also you can tell the mold that is growing on the comb right here. Um, so it's been obviously wet in here. I'm not interested in any of this honey but we can take the honey and feed all this stuff back to the bees whether they just get it on the comb or whether we crush and strain it. But this stuff that that's nasty and we're getting better light we'll be able to take a look at that but right now it looks pretty gross so I'm gonna I think I'm a I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use my everything bee vac um, to, to get these bees out of here but my goodness that is a lot of comb a lot of comb okay. I want to actually see what's going on underneath this piece too so let's let's remove this and you get a really good view of what this side looks like wow that that's the first time I ever seen that you <laughs> you see the top of the hive and the side of it but you see the wires that are coming in here and there's wires on the left side but there's no power hooked up to this trailer so I'm not worried about any of that stuff being active and and being able to see the hive just like this I think it's just gonna make it so much easier to disassemble it for the most part just like our FLIR showed us our bees are gonna be on here because this is where our brood is going to be there's even though we never got any signature on the flare on this side the reason is because there's no bees over here the bees are what give off heat so there's no heat because there's no bees but there's lots of comb as you can see so I'm uh, I'm gonna remove this piece of wood right here and start taking out comb right now goodness sake that's there's one, two, three, four, five. It looks like it's six layers of comb there. They they have utilized every bit of space in that area that they could. My goodness. This is one of the uh, JP showed me a lot of stuff in all the years he's been doing bee uh, bee removals. But hey, one I like the most, the one I like the most is how he always sits down. So he taught me how to sit That's down. That's right. Creature comforts is everything. Right. I vacuumed just the, the surface bees. There's a lot of bees still in there. And I, so I knocked the numbers down a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to I remove this piece of wood right here. And normally I would want to get the honey section out first. But the way they built this comb, it's like, like on a shingle of a house. You, you almost have to get this layer to, to get to the back and move this way. Because if, if you look at the way the comb is laid out this is in the front and then the next one is behind it and it's always going behind it so we have to take it apart from the front working our way back it's not the way I want to do it but it's the way the bees have told me I, I need to do it so I'm gonna listen to what they're telling me I'm gonna remove this piece right here and we're gonna start taking comb out of here one of the one of the advantages of having the top off like this is I can see the actual layers of comb you can see where the joint is between the sections of comb 
And this is just propolis right up here. So all I have to do is follow this line right here and this section of comb is just going to come right off. Um, this, it, it, I haven't seen comb this mildewy in years, but this is absolutely pathetic. Uh, and, and I really don't know how the issue of, of dealing with the honey that's underneath it is going to work. The honey is good, but you have to do with, deal with that, that mold that's on the outside. Now this part back here, this is all good, and this part, I'm, we'll be able to frame this part up. This part, no, no way I'd put that in a hive, no way. And I'm hoping that if we get further back, we're not going to encounter as much mold, and we'll, we'll see if that's going to be the case. Well, Fred, I just want to point out this right here. Oh, that, that would be Frederick Dunn for those that don't know who I'm talking about. So, Fred, here it is. There's our entrance to our hive right there. And uh, I've taken out all that nasty comb. And I'm telling you, we're not going to use any of this comb. Tommy's got some drawn-out comb that we're going to put these bees on, and he's just going to feed them. Because, golly, I wouldn't put any of this comb... Uh, I, I would I would just put it out and let the, the uh, bees rob it out because that's all this comb is worth. But I'm pretty sure our queen is up in there. So I'm going to whittle away at it and uh, see if we can locate her. <laughs> it looks a little bit different than uh, when I first came here. And as you can tell, it ain't there no more, folks. That is one nasty, nasty beehive right there. W was. And we're going to go up to James's place right now. We're going to transfer the bees and find our queen because she's in that back. There's only a few bees left in here, and these are just field bees that are returning. So I'll get those. So we made our way up to James, and like you saw, that comb, that comb was totally useless for what we're doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these bees into a box with old drawn out comb. This is a dead out and we got 10, 10 of these frames. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the bees from the bee vac into the box. I'll be looking for the queen and when I find her I'll cage her and drop her in here and then at that point um, after that, James will be feeding these bees because there's there's not going to be anything in here. So he's going to have to start feeding them tonight. Tonight. So let's go ahead and bounce this top part and see if we can find our queen. So when you pull that lid off the everything bee back, you always get a cluster of bees up on the top. 
So I'm looking for my queen before I bounce it, because she could very well be up here. I don't see her up here, but that doesn't mean she's not in here. So we're going to put these in the beef, in the hard box. Right. We got those in the box right now, and we're going to close it up. All right, so we got bees in there, and now. Look, look how many bees we vacuumed up. You see that, Charlie? Can you get it? Got it. That is a lot of bees. A lot of bees. And what I'm going to do, what I've done is I put it on the ground because I want the bees to march in. I don't want, I'm look, I want to look for the queen. We dump bees in the box to get the bees to get in there initially. And you can see they're already... The ones that are dumped in, they're coming in. So I'm going to bounce these on the outside, and I'm going to be looking for that queen as she's marching in. And I'm leaving a bunch of them in there and let these go first. And you can see they're going to they're going to start marching right up into that box because they smell that comb in there. And I find this so much easier to, to get the bees to march in than to bounce them in there. Mm -hmm. And you, you see the march. And it, it's like everybody likes watching the bees march into the box. And as they march in, it gives me the chance to look for our queen. And since the daylight is so good out here, <laughs> I have a better chance of finding her now. So I have bees with their butts up in the air out here. All right, let's pour some more out. <laughs> There's still a bunch in there. I mean, they are just going right on in. Just what you want them to see. And I also leave a little crack up here because the ones in the air, they can get inside. I don't want to have too much area open on the top. I can, I can smell lemongrass oil in here. They got the bees with the butts up in the air right here. All right, I didn't see her, so let's We'll close it off right now and we'll pick this up in a little bit. And I want to show the, the drone how they're, they're, even though when we vacuumed these, there were no drones, but there were some drones in that hive over there they were throwing out. And now they tried to come over here and these girls were kicking them out, but he, he went back in there. He'll be coming out though. They, they've already thrown out two of them from there. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, it's the time of year where the drones, they're getting thrown out. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the comb that we took out of there. And this is, this is the other part. We pulled a lot of comb out of there. But as you can see, this comb, this comb is probably four years old. It is old, nasty, hard as iron. 
this, you can see as I squeeze it, the honey does not even run. It's just so, so thick. Now it is cold, it's not cold, it's, it's probably about 55, 56 degrees right now. And it's not running maybe for that reason, but, but this, this is all trash. So James is just going to feed the bees out here with it, and then he'll be able to um, use the wax. Here we are in downtown Amy, Louisiana. We just, we, you know, we went and had, I had my heart set on eating Chinese food today, and we drove all the way to Amy from way out in the country, and we had to settle for Mexican because the Chinese food was close. You know, what can I say? So. That's what I wanted. And, what, and, what about the day, Charlie? What about that day? Oh, it started off. We had ice and snow driving over here. It was. It was freezing cold. cold. Brutal, brutal. But we came all the way over here to a meet. We went way out in the woods. Yeah, you saw that. Saw all that dust on that and, black dirt road. Right, right. And uh, we ended up in that dilapidated trailer. Awesome, you saw us awesome in. Awesome place. Probably going to come down with some kind of. <laughs> strange illness you know it's, all that comb was full of mold but anyway um it was an exciting day yeah you know was. we had a good time we had good company out there and a lot of help and i thought it was fun it was it was other than we we didn't find the we queen. didn't get the chinese restaurant that that was the seriously disappointing was, part to of me day. that's as bad as not finding the queen yeah, it was that, that was a, but all in all it was all still all a good day it was. we got to wrangle it bees it was another adventure and I'm glad, but I'm glad this one's over and we're going to move on to the next one. Well, so that's all I got. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless Mr. Ed and, and good time, Charlie. We're out until the next video. Bye, guys.